New polls this weekend each paint a very different picture of the Iowa race. The USA Today poll shows Joe Biden in first with a 6% lead over Bernie Sanders, who just edges out Pete Buttigieg. The New York Times poll shows Sanders with a 7% lead over Buttigieg, who's just ahead of Joe Biden. One week out from the caucuses and signs show it's still anyone's game in Iowa. Chief photographer Stephanie Nolte talked to Democrats in Council Bluffs and has their thoughts on the latest polls. It's a tight race heading into the final week in Iowa. According to a CBS poll, Bernie Sanders is attracting 26% of supporters, with Joe Biden at 25% and Pete Buttigieg at 22% as the likely top preference of likely caucus goers. But Iowans still have time to change their minds, and the Iowa poll suggests they may. 60% of caucus goers say they're undecided. I'm not surprised. Uh, we have a large field still um, of very qualified candidates. Vice Chair of the Pottawatomie County Democrats, Jill Shudak, says people are considering more than just whose beliefs better match their own. Who can beat Trump is playing more of a factor this year. Um, I know I have a few friends that are still very undecided, and when I speak to them, um, they're down to two or three candidates, and it's more weighing out than who can beat Trump. That, that That's going to make their final decision. She thinks everyone's chances are still pretty good in Iowa. The sentiment from a, a Democratic perspective is that any of them would be better than Trump at this point in time. And at the end of the day, she says she'll be happy to work for whoever the Democratic nominee is, even if it's not her candidate. In Council Bluffs, Stephanie Nolte, 3 News Now. Most Iowa Democrats do not think candidates who have to be in Washington for the Senate impeachment trial will suffer much of an impact in Iowa. They all have surrogates on the ground here for them.